like to show you how to create the vocoder effect with Reaper's Revocode plugin. I'll begin by placing a speech clip onto the first track. I have some Harvard sentences from the Open Speech Repository. And I notice that the amplitude seems a bit low. Let me go ahead and make a modification directly to the speech clip. F2 gets you to item properties. Find the normalize button and that applied an automatic gain of a little more than 7 dB. Go ahead and apply that and we see that the amplitude has in fact increased. Let's take a listen. The birch canoe slid on the smooth planks. All right, let me begin by placing the equalizer. This is also built into Reaper. And I will apply a high pass for two purposes. In this particular speech clip, it has a little bit of 60 hertz hum. Also, it's, uh, it's helpful to reduce some mud. The birch canoe slid on the smooth planks. Glue the sheet to the dark blue background. And improve vocal clarity of the speech signal as well. All right, let's insert a second track. And this will be then the signal source to activate the speech. I'm using the filter to search for the tone generator plugin. And let's turn that one off. We need a source that has rich spectral content. Now we need to establish a connection between these two tracks. First, we need to expand the number of track channels from two to four. Channels three and four will then accept the signal source for the vocoder plugin. On my signal source, I need to send to the, the voice track, but I need to do so on channels three and four. Also, I want to disable the send back to the master. Now when I unmute that, we no longer hear it because it's not being sent to the master. So this sawtooth waveform needs to activate the vocoder plugin associated with our speech. Next, let me add the vocoder plugin itself. And right here. All right, that sounds pretty good so far. So you can experiment a bit to get the appropriate pitch to serve as the excitation to the vocoder plug-in. I'm going to make one more modification here. I'm adding in an additional plugin. I need to make sure that the order is equalization and then compression and then the vocoder. This dynamic range compressor is necessary to really even out the speech. Okay, let's try it without those two effects. Here we can hear EQ. And here we can appreciate the effect of compression. 
All right, the last tip I'd like to show you is how you can apply track automation to adjust the frequency or the note of the sawtooth generator. That adds some interest and it's pretty easy to do. Holding down the shift button and just placing some points here so that way I can manipulate the segments on the automation envelope. Now the automation is affecting that note. I'm going to operate on this phrase in a little bit more detail. Let me zoom in on this. And I will also disable the snap so I can freely position these points. I'm going to take a brief time out here and show you the end results. That's kind of fun and pretty easy to do too. Well, hopefully you enjoyed learning about the vocorder. Have fun with this effect.